Hello everybody, it's Mr. Ben. It's so nice to see you today. Um, let me see, I'll start by singing with you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to my friend and how do you do? Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay, I got worried. I thought I had my headphones plugged in. <gasps> I didn't though. Oh, whew, that's okay. So uh, yeah, today is uh, Tuesday. There we go, Tuesday. Uh, for number one with one little dot, we've got school on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So one, two, three more wake-up days. Uh, for number two, we played a little game. Uh, there's some people there, and then somebody here is the leader. We were playing Follow the Leader. We went through our, our Rosie's Walk book, and we were taking turns deciding how we wanted to get around the, uh, the, the barnyard if we wanted to go through things or over things or under things. Oh, I thought I heard a, a, an announcement. Uh, so that's what we did for number two. Um, I can show you a little bit more about that. And number three, one, two, three, we had another book about uh, uh, Rosie. I didn't even know that this book existed until uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, a teacher friend of mine, Miss Alyssa, had this book. It's another book uh, with Rosie there. And it's Where Aware oh, is Rosie's Chick. So we, uh, we checked this one out too. It was so much fun. Um, so uh, we'll bounce back up to number two with follow the leader. So it's going to be a little bit trickier because uh, I can't hear what you're saying. So I guess I get to be the leader this time. So since I'm the leader, let's see. So if we were going on a walk, just like Rosie, Rosie, uh, she comes to the pond. And I remember uh, I asked, hey, uh, what should we do? Could, do we want to go around the pond or do we want to jump in and swim in the pond? And Arpano was the leader that time. She said that she wanted to jump in. So we, we counted three. We went one, two, three. And we jumped in and we swam across the pond. And then uh, we came to the haystack. And uh, I was like, hey, Ariana, what should we do? Should we climb over the haystack or should we go through the haystack? And she said, we're going to go through it. So we were, ah, we were pushing our way, punching our way through, kicking our way through, moving all the hay through. So we went through the haystack. But uh, yeah, so you can use all kinds of different direction words and use your imagination. Pretend that you're going for a walk somewhere. You can climb up over the fence like uh, we did, or you could go under the fence. You could dig a hole underneath. Or you could squeeze your way through the fence. There's all kinds of things you can do if you've got enough imagination and enough time. So uh, that's what we did for number uh, two. Number three, I've got our book here, Where Oh Where is Rosie's Chick uh, by Pat Hutchins. Another hardcover book. Whew, they don't make them like that anymore. So here's our book, Where Oh Where is Rosie's Chick. We'll read that quick with you. And then we'll, I'll bid you adieu. Let's see. Hooray, Rosie the Hen has laid an egg. Uh, and at last, her chick is hatching. So hatching is when uh, something's coming out of an egg. Oh, and I can see, ooh, there we go. There's the chick there trying to come out. <gasps> but, oh no. Where is her little baby chick? Oh my goodness, there's so much going on. Do you see where the chick is? I don't see. Oh, I thought there was the egg there. And I don't see where the chick is. There's other chicks there, but I don't know where Rosie's chick went. Rosie looks under you know the hen house. So that's another name for the coop. It could be a coop or a hen house. She's looking under. Oh, did you see? There's that uh, chick right there. The chick is balanced on the ramp. That's all right. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, but her little baby chick isn't there. Oh, it looks like Rosie's walking along there. And there's the chick there, bouncing along. She looks in the basket but her little baby chick isn't there oh so she's looking in oh and the chick is right behind her that's what i feel like when i'm looking for something i'm like where is it where and it's usually right in front of me and i, I can't find it uh, she looks behind the wheelbarrow so a wheelbarrow there it is it usually has one wheel there and a couple of handles you pick it up and move stuff around with the wheelbarrow uh, so she looked behind it, but her little baby chick isn't there either. Oh, no. But look, there's the chick there. The chick is on a log, and there's a, a hungry-looking fish. Ah, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, oh, wait. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Let's find out. Oh, so she looks across the field. So oh, Rosie climbed up the ladder and is looking around. Oh, it looks like that fish ended up with an apple in its mouth. Oh, and the chick is walking away. Whew. The chick was safe. 
Oh, thank goodness. Uh, but she still can't find her little baby chick. Oh, no. Ooh. And now it looks like the chick is climbing up the ladder. Have you ever gone on a ladder? Oh, you got to be very careful. I'm trying to get Miss Karen to get up on the on her ladder uh, at home, but uh, you know, she, you got to be extra careful with a ladder. Uh, that's mostly for grown-ups. Uh, let's see. Uh, she looks through the straw, but her little baby chick isn't there either. Oh no, she's looking all through, so she's moving it around. So that reminds me at home, like looking for something in a pile of laundry. Let's see. Where oh where is Rosie's little baby chick? Oh. The chick was swinging off. Uh-oh. Might uh, end up in the hay after all. Let's see. <gasps> and all the chickens say, behind you. So Rosie took a look. Hey, there we go. And it looks like all the little eggshell pieces are flying off of there. Uh, now Rosie and her little baby chick go for a walk. Oh, just like Rosie went on her walk alone. Now she's getting to walk with her chick. Very nice. Oh, I see. Oop, there's a little fox with a little baby fox. I don't know. What does the fox say? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, oh, the end. There we go. So that was another fun story with Rosie. She was looking for her chick all over the place. Oh, my goodness. You ever lose your chick? I don't know. I I don't know. We, we have chicks at my house, too. Sometimes they do kind of uh, get lost, but we always look and we always find them. So there we go. So that'll take care of a, a tingly Tuesday there. Uh, so yeah, come on back again uh, tomorrow for a wonderful wiggly, uh, a wet, oh, maybe wet, I don't know. It was snowing here earlier. Uh, Wednesday. Anyway, oh, it's getting long, baby. Uh, so there we go. Thanks for joining us and uh, come on back to school tomorrow and we'll have some more fun then. Bye, everybody.